Jim's work demonstrates the importance of anthropological work that digs deeper, in this case presenting the global to local connections that extend from a gas well in regional Queensland to the world and back. His work seeks to identify these connections, not just between people and places, the farmers, miners, shop owners and residents, and the farms, drilling sites and towns they work and live in, but also bring in the underground, where all the life-giving substances ooze out from. It is the water basin under the farm that sustains them during droughts, that feed local town water supplies, and that are used by coal seam gas drilling operations. And the gas itself, trapped in underground pockets, worms its way across property boundaries on the surface. So access to them becomes a matter of negotiation, and all the people I just mentioned become part of the quest for the underground gas fields. As anthropologists, we enter the life worlds of others and hope to bring stories of their lives to bear on our understandings of the world around us. This episode brought together major areas of everyone's lives and demonstrates how removed we've become from things like, where does our water come from? How is our food produced? And where is our energy coming from? In the Darling Downs, these questions are interrelated in the lives we've just heard about. Coal seam gas exploration has altered water resources, benefiting some farmers and disadvantaging others, as well as causing fear and water insecurity amongst local residents. Some of the runoff water from gas production feeds food production, while some water resources are being competed over by gas production and food production. Driving all of these contestations is our thirst, not for water, but energy, to power our lives and increasingly the hungry energy markets in Asia. Anthropology, as always, tries to bring nuance and deeper understanding to complex interrelationships between people and between people and place.